I still own my territory. I would say that is a win. All you need is some desperate measures <laughs> and they will probably you probably have some last minute allies with you. Um, you are holding on. Good. All I want you is to hold there. Hold! And thank you for the follow, Phoenix3691. Um, let's see. This is not... We're kind of stuck now. We're kind of really stuck. They have finally arrived with enough troops to stop my onwards push. I think we need to change this line to just that province. We need to reach it. And no, you're not going to be spread from that province. You're going to get moved right up there. No, stop it. What are you doing? Oh, right. That one is getting pushed there. And why is he still moved here? That's right. That's right. Now you now you work my style. And thank you for the follow, Lil Snorre underscore. <laughs> you watched that Vic old Swedish Viking show too? I hopefully it's from that one. It's the end. The war's been lost. I thought that was the way, but it seems like by slowly micring or slowly, quickly micring a lot. We are pulling through. Uh, let's see. Half of your troops go up here. We really need to cut them off now. With as many, as many troops as possible on the eastern front. But it seems like they are actually pulling out. From the far eastern front. And Germany is still holding on. They are slowly, slowly getting pushed back. But... Hmm. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by Germany. They've been fighting the same borders forever and they're still pushing on. <sighs> I'm getting excited. We're doing this. We're doing this really well. Let's see. Our loss is at 680,000 and there's at 841. So we have definitely been taking the brunt of the assault since Japan is still on the same amount of losses. Do they actually have the same amount of divisions too? They still have the same amount of divisions. They are England now, letting other people fight their wars. No, that's a bad one. Uh, what's the best way to... Uh, or any tips of learning Swedish? Don't. Just learn English and that will be good enough for Sweden. <laughs> Basically. No, but if you really, really want to learn Swedish, then just don't try to find patterns of when to use this or when to use that. We have none. It makes no sense. We go by what sounds the best. Then that is the correct one. Almost. In all occasions. Blame Daniel. <laughs> We're so close to this border now. We dreamed of it when we was over here. And now we have pushed in several hundreds miles in two years. A very, very slow push all the way up. I grew up on Swedish after five years. Don't lace out on the basic concept source. Me. <laughs> Well, you know you're speaking Danish when no one understands what you say. Especially other Danish people. Burn. Burn. Sorry. Sorry. Sometimes I can't help myself. It may be a slow f a push, but it's faster than World War One. yeah. Like, I, I've been... If anyone here has been listening to Hardcore History, which I've recommended many, many times, you will learn some quite incredible facts, actually. Like one thing, people say Battle of D-Day. That was a horrible thing. Just completely horrible. A ton of people died. Nothing if you compare it with World War I. The D-Day landing in, I think it was 7 days, or it might even been 20 days, 12,000 people lost their lives. 
that's still a lot of people. But at the Battle of Somme, during the First World War, 60,000 were lost during one day. 60,000, almost three times the amount. During one day, instead of seven, or t 20, or what it was. Wait, people say Battle of D- uh, No, just D-Day, not Battle of D-Day, uh, whatever. I just mean the battle that was D-Day. A lot of people- f you d People didn't actually lose as much men as you might think. They were more dead in the Battle of Stalingrad than the entire Western Front, though. Yeah. Yeah, I just mean some amazing event that people don't know should be brought up to light. <laughs> and uh, Hardcore History, a super good, a good TV show. Or TV show, what I'm saying. Podcast, I guess. Uh, let's see. The Fall of Rome. Wait, didn't they already fall? Oh, it's United Kingdom's time to take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I went to Normandy two weeks ago. I saw a lot of tanks. Felt nice. <laughs> I would like to go there. I would like to visit most of these famous places just to see it in real life. To actually feel that impact. One plus for Dan Carling. Awesome. Another one. Yeah, Dan Carling. Awesome guy. I listen to him a lot while working. That or now Horus Heresy and Warhammer. Um, we're doing really well. That 20 extra divisions from Iran was really helpful. That gave me the last push and will to be able to do this. Um, and here we have basically no Soviet troops anymore because they're all pushing on the other side. Um, well here, night. I, I can't believe that we're actually doing this. Like I said, I said I was doomed. And now we're just pushing on really, really hard. And we might, and we are finally sur surrounding this entire front. Cutting them off from supply. Um, they are, it seems like they are trying to go west. But we are stopping them. Very, very slowly, but we are. I bought so many Warhammer novels, I don't I don't know when I'm going to read them. Um, I listen to them with audiobook. They're all on YouTube. But um, I'm probably going to buy them all just so I can have them on my phone. Just buy all audiobook I can find. <laughs> so, that, uh, I think it's really interesting. Even though you don't get... A single thing for the first two hours. You're slowly, slowly getting more and more into it until you actually understand. Oh god, what's going on? No, don't do it! And they do it, of course. Audiobooks are awesome. For pe for us people who don't <laughs> have time to read or want to. Audiobooks. Hashtag sellout. Sellout? If I were sponsored or anything by them, yeah, probably. But I'm not sponsored by them. I just give generally genuine stuff that I actually like. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see. Uh, not so fun fact. The English had a genius plan to increase soldiers' morale. Taking every single man from one village and... Dedicating them to the same point on the front. So many. Vi oh, yeah. That was a quite horrible thing that happened. They're like, yeah, let's let's uh, let's go to the army together with your buddies, and th you're gonna fight with them. You're gonna stand side by side with them. You're gonna, and then when your friends started to die beside you, let's say that plan backfired. Instead of. Uh, some people over the entire nation feeling the sorrow of their armies being wiped out. One single town suddenly saw our entire neighborhood was completely lost. Poof. Or it's horrible. And now we cut them off. We cut off, cut off the entire Soviet army. 
from their main force. A very slow push from southern British Rye just to the north very very slowly. It took us around two years. But we have them now. We have them. Now a push here would be the best thing. Just cut off all their naval supply naval holes and Yeah, we're gonna do it. We need to do it. New commander. And you are gonna get assigned first right here. Because you need to cut that off. Uh, let's see, we have that. We have. Do we have enough supply? Yes, we do. But we don't have enough artillery. So we're gonna do this. Don't show outdated anymore. Only new artillery. We're gonna drag, change this one. Or both of these to level 3 equipment now. We're gonna lose a lot of infantry weapons each month. We're probably gonna go down again. Under. But if we're lucky we might still pull ahead. Destroy effort. Not so fun fact number 2. In 1942 the Canadians and British tried a landing in Normandy with disastrous losses. Oh I've actually not heard of that. Uh, thank you for the follow, Sir Corny. Thank you for the support. Uh, let's see, go there that way. Let's go this. Switzerland joins the Allies. Mm, all right. Um, actually, let's pull one more troop that way. Nice. Um, you are not be able. You are not prepared. Okay. The best way to see how many troops are stationed at east front is just to do like this. Delete that. And then do this. No, stop it. Why do I have two plans? Stop it, remove it. And do this. Okay. Where can I see how many? Here. 43 divisions and at this line then should be the other half. 41. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with that actually. And um, yeah, let's just do a general push like that. But this time, we're gonna push slowly, slowly and carefully. While this, these divisions are gonna go and grab the naval ports. We're gonna completely shut down all supplies that the Soviet Union have. Four units are not gonna be enough, of course. But it's gonna be the beginning of the end. Swiss is doing something heresy. Well, I guess they're feeling threatened enough by Germany, so they're getting pulled into the war. Push something too much and it will eventually break. And hereby, they break, they broke the neutrality. I'm doing so many good quotes today. <laughs> you must be so irritated. Uh, let's grab that province. Let's see. Oh god, you are not allowed to push and break that. You guys, or half of you, please just increase the size so they can't just break this single province to break my supply, supply plan. And you are gonna be aggressive. Just push, push as much as possible. Um, yeah, that's not going super well. Hopefully you will hold that, Japan. Otherwise I'm gonna get mad. Um, we are going back and starting to lose a bit. Maybe I've switched out too quickly. I should have probably kept one of these at weapons 1. Yeah, I'm gonna lose weapons efficiency, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna pull this one back. So stupid of me. So very stupid of me. Luckily I picked the industry of uh, streamlined production so it will grow up faster again. But, ah, that was stupid. Let's see, do I have a navy now? You're still not done with the first ship. No, it's gonna take 1.3 more years. 
Uh, let's see, this is done, that's nice and done. How much is a war participation? 80%. Japan was fighting a losing battle, they just fell back all the time. While well, I'm now occupying a very, very large area. And we're doing basically everything. But I'm from this, no, that, not that front. Let's take from this front. I need to take a couple of troops. Let's say these five. And you're going to get assigned to this special line. You are pulling out way too much long. You need to be very short. You need to be very focused. Or maybe that's my problem. I'm trying to keep it way too short. Yeah, I think that might actually be it. I need to push this entire front a bit. It's gonna be slower. I'm not gonna grab this one for quite a while, but I think this would be the best option. And here I haven't picked it for some reason. More economy is still good enough. Actually, I should have picked total mobilization. Yeah, I lose 3% recruitment, free manpower, but we have so much manpower. We haven't even gone up to limited conscription. Let's actually do it. We switch out this, lose 3%, we gain 1% here. So we should still have a quite high. And otherwise in that, we have basically nothing to do. <sighs> it feels like I can finally just take, uh, take a breath of fresh air. We are slowly, slowly doing it. And we are grabbing more and more factories. More and more people are joining our cause. A cause for victory. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. <sighs> Is this a custom nation? It's not. Um, if you play the third Guanxi... I, I, I totally forgot what it's called now. The Guanxi. See? Something like that, just I don't remember the original name, but this is fascist nation of them. So yeah, the third cliché, as I call them. I know it's not cliché, I'm just gonna say it once again, but I'm gonna call it that because it's easier, quicker to say, and sounds more funny, basically. That's actually, that's the main reason, it fun sounds funny. The third cliché is taking over the world. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Why do you want me to play Liberia? It's gonna just be time for waiting, 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 even more waiting, and more waiting after that. And I wanna show you, I wanna do cool stuff, I wanna do these crazy attacks on nations that are much larger than me, but actually maybe succeed, like this time. I was very split on that if I would actually succeed. I said, let's declare the war and lose. But somehow we seem to have won because I managed to outmaneuver Soviet Union. How good are actually these units? Let's find the one I select. Select this one. Oh, you're horrible. Or not horrible, but not that great. My units are far, far superior than the ones I got from Iraq. Iran. Iran. Yeah, Iran. Um, you are gonna wait for your company members before you continue pushing. So please get over there. And otherwise in that, we're doing fine. But let's actually do this. Let's start pushing hard again. Uh, let's see. Because I took over all of Africa and most of South America as Liberia. Yeah, it's possible. Well, a large percent of soldiers on the field died in World War One than World War Two. Yeah, World War One was insane, really. Uh, play nuclear Germany, you know, the mod your colleagues made with you as its leader. No, my colleagues didn't do that mod. My colleagues did not do that mod. It's, it's some random person did the mod with me as all leaders. Did you think it? No, not other Paradox people. <laughs> Thanks for... Uh, yeah, manpower to push hard, yeah. But I do I have the equipment to do it? No, I do not. Oh, 
I really gonna be forced to pull this back to level one again? I was hoping that this was gonna be enough. Having manpower isn't all, as I've been saying several times in this stream. You need equipment too. Yeah. Oh. I switched too quickly and now I'm paying the price for it. No, Nuclear Germany was the mod for modding from the dev stream. Oh, you mean that one. That one. Oh, I completely forgot about that one. Um, no, that's just OP. <laughs> Didn't they give me like attack dogs that completely wrecked everyone? <laughs> My ancestors are from Guanxi. Suffered terror. Okay, if that's true, I'm not. I'm not trying to like offend you by saying the the third cliche and being fascist and everything. Of course, like that. I'm just saying the third cliche because it sounds more fun. Sorry, and you suffered terribly under the Japanese occupation. Well, take it easy, I'm gonna betray them later and crush them. Everything is gonna belong to your ancestors. And what the hell are you doing, Soviet? Why are you pushing in so hard and trying to break me? Break my spirit. Uh, guys, you four, go down here. So quickly, please. Get a move on. We need to stop them. Oh good, now they're falling back because you don't want to get surrounded. <laughs> that could have been really bad. But still, all four of you, go there. Go. Oh god, you're stopping me before I reach my goal. You're gonna go right there. What the hell are you trying to do with Soviet every game? <laughs> so come on, break them. Break them. And now grab this province and good, we took them. Now this small spearhead will just slowly, slowly get surrounded and killed off. And the same thing I'm gonna do right here. That's doing fine, that's doing fine, let's save that. Is rocket artillery any good? Yes, it is good, but I wouldn't be able to produce it because, well, I'm not in that state I can produce anything new, apparently. Because then I start to lose a ton of equipment, and yes, yeah, stop pushing, stop pushing, please. I'm losing way too much equipment now. Uh, everyone should stop pushing. I was on minus, I was plus. 3k and now I'm losing just so much. Oh, it's because a massive full on Soviet offensive is going on right now. And I tried to push through it. That was not brilliant. I need to be more aware of the map. Let's break this single province and then we're gonna pull back. Oh wait, on pause, to actually have the battle go on. <laughs> smart Daniel is not smart. Minus 20k, it's nothing. It is quite a lot if you're in total are going to have 52,000. So basically half my forces have nothing. Then you can understand it's a lot of equipment, at least for me right now. Let's see, how is artillery doing? It's doing quite badly too. You, they are actually doing a massive push now and actually succeeding with it. Which is very, very bad for me. <laughs> um, you are gonna go there and we are gonna retreat with all of these troops. It's just fall back, land. 
you're gonna fall back. Come on, retreat quickly before they start pushing here. They want a they want a battle line with planning bonus before they start pushing and finishing off. Good, good. My troops managed to escape. <sighs> and I lost, unfortunately, this territory. All of you attack here. Push them back. And am I losing? Yeah, I have no supply here. Basically. Uh, let's push in slowly. I became way too overconfident. I was just, oh, the, the war is won, the war is won, the war is won, and now it's not looking that well anymore. Yeah, sure, let's grab that one. Just so we have it finished. And the tank guns. Let's begin with the fighters. And thank you to follow Garmet13. Yeah, completely surrounded and crushed. Luckily, I pulled out in time. And they left this entire border for me to eat. That's nice. Oh, actually, they're not. They're just starting push now. And here, it's also looking bad. Yeah, I won't be able to push forward right there. Just defend it. Actually, you guys shouldn't be here. Can I somehow... I can't get him out. So it's better that I disband these nine units. Oh, Japan got so many troops surrounded right there. No, not Japan, but Iran got it. And now they can't even move and take back the territory to grab them supply. This is looking really bad now. At least 11k now. We're f going back quite quickly. We need all our forces. It's, it's so important. It's ridiculous how important it is for all our troops to have weapons. That's the only reason we've been able to push. Our people have had weapons and they did not. That was the thing. That was what made, us, what made it possible for us to push. But now when both of us have half weapons, they're gonna win. Because they have how many more divisions, 500 more divisions than I have with half the weapons. But if all my 8, no, no, how many, all of my, my 60, if it's even 60. Yeah, this is the with the expeditionary forces, so I think I sent 40 of them, I disbanded 9 of them, so... All my 50 divisions need their equipment, and they need it, all of it. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I guess you can understand what I mean. Um, my losses is now at 1.4 million, Soviet Union is now at 1.5. So all my pushing has taken a very, very harsh toll on my, on my troops. And yeah. <sighs> Quoting Sabaton songs again. <laughs> we are at least slowly holding on this line. Even pushing in a bit. Sense, yeah. More equipment and we're... Do you see how quickly we're starting to push back? Yes, because of that small difference that we have weapons now. It's still looking badly mostly on the front. If I try to push, but we'll see. Legion <laughs> Romania wants to send one division. Oh, my my hero. You should probably send that division to Germany. It's a must. <laughs> well, I, I'm fine. Just don't spam too much. Then I'm fine. Uh, let's see. Our push... To grab this in two years was really well, but now we have been bogged down for six months. Months doing basically no progress at all. Hmm. This is why I like Hoi. Very sudden, sharp turns, you become overconfidence, and boom. It instantly 
smacks you in the head for it. Oh, you thought you won. Yeah, you didn't. This one is gonna be weapons 3. But these two is gonna stay at weapons 1 until we have 40, 50,000 spare equipment. At least. Or actually, we're gonna start producing units when we have when we start to like gain equipment because we need more troops we need to fill out our borders i like to have at least two at every province and now we barely have one yes danny we like hoi 